have a last minute meeting um, and I was about to have lunch so I'm gonna have lunch while doing the meeting and then I feel my very nice unboxing I finally now have the time to do my unboxing uh, for mailing so this week was crazy last week was crazy I just don't know how I keep going like that oh come on this moment is yours it has a, a 3d thingy here because this is an early present for my birthday I wrote myself a birthday message because <laughs> I'm extra like that so that's a card for me to me and then I have this little thing I suppose it's my two samples that I chose oh this is so cute ah. oh my god that is so gorgeous so I have this little one called May Lynch from the clean dirt and the second one is the honey mud I'm gonna try both of them I like these jars so I might keep them for whenever I travel famous last words I always say this right this also has the little dandelion thing and then I have my two products this is what started it all um, May and Instagram the blue cocoon so this is a concentrated balm this is expensive so expensive uh, my eyes are watering at how expensive this was but you know I only have my birthday once a year so might as well open with care oh because it might actually turn into fluid when it's in the sun so it comes in this jar it's really really tiny really really tiny uh, I'll come closer to show you that's the box it says that it was made French fresh in Feb uh, 2021 so you want to open it by uh, the 8th by August 2021 and enjoy it within 12 months of opening you know I'm gonna open it way before that because I'm running low on and a lot of things mm. and this one is what is it this is the problem solver I have had a lot of congestion, so I really, really, really need that. Hmm, and that's what it looks like. Everything else is just paper. So I'm gonna just put this back and then recycle it. Right, so here's a recap of my goodies. I got the problem solver, which is a warming correcting mask. It has bamboo charcoal and things like that. Ooh. It just looks like ashes so I will try that most likely tonight if I'm being completely honest I'm so tired I've been working like crazy it's just I just need a bit of a pick me up the blue cocoon I don't want to open it I might open it in I'll open it tonight so never mind let me show you hmm so that's what it looks like I will start using it tonight I might as well indulge and then my two samples I'll also get started on them immediately um, so I will see how to add them to my routine because I'm no longer saving samples uh, this is one of the things I have been doing really well um, in the lockdown and um, one of the reasons I'm able to actually buy such things is because I am finishing a lot of my products and so for the empties I'm going to have quite a lot of empties in this video so I thought I'd already filmed the ones that I accumulated for now and I know I will have many more in a couple of weeks so I will film another one back then so um, first thing I finish is this um, what would this be called like an incense stick I have uh, I had bought this actually two years ago for my birthday funny uh, so I bought it in March and uh, it was because I used to walk past a, a store that always had this specific incense burning and I just love the smell of it and I just thought because it is extremely expensive the brand is called Shekens Peak 
um, aromatics I just I found myself not using it and then one day I said no I bought it for my birthday as a treat to myself and this year in the past year have been just crazy so I should not say for a specific time every day should be special and so I started using these uh, more often and I finished one of these I have five more boxes because when I bought it I bought it as a bundle um, so I'm going to continue using these it's just they're, they're just amazing very fragrant they fill the whole house and this smell is frankincense and myrrh you, you will notice I like this type of smells because it was also in my selection of perfumes for uh, the last time that I did a, a style video then I finished this Kushmi tea detox tea uh, it is uh, something that I had bought when I was in Belgium so it is quite old not that tea expires quickly or anything like that but I just was keen on finishing some of the teas that I had because I wanted to buy additional teas but I didn't want to, to have too many boxes and, and packs etc so I'm happy that I have finished it and then we have a few beauty products and randoms so body care um, I have the Elizabeth Arden green tea honey drops body cream I bought this at, uh, at the airport I remember when I went to Copenhagen with my sister and I bought two of these it's like a half kilo tub so I ended up using the first one the first year and then I got a bit bored with it so it took me a long time to finish this but I'm done with it it's quite moisturizing has an inoffensive scent to it uh, I don't think that it's the best uh, body moisturizer I have used I didn't get excited about it so that's why I struggled with finishing it I will not repurchase it and then Sleepy's Pillow Mists this is just the Boots brand and it's a uh, uh, lavender scented and I had bought it at one time when I was really struggling with uh, sleep as you guys know I'm hyperactive so I do struggle to to just uh, calm down enough that my uh, sleep pattern starts but I don't think that this helped at all I mean I used it I finished it but I think this is a, a deeper problem that a spray will not fix, right? And then finally finished the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I had the mega size of it because typically it comes in the 100 ml thing, which is about half of that. This is the 200 ml. So you have the feeling at the beginning that you didn't get much product, but then I've been working through that for ages. I don't even remember how long I've had it for and um, I just love the smell of it I love the consistency of it you don't need a ton of it on, on, on your face to take off your everything I don't use it for removing makeup just because I think it's too fancy and nice for that so I use it as my second cleanse um, on days where I don't have much time I will just use a very tiny amount like very very tiny but on days where I have been extremely tired or I just feel like being more indulgent I will just apply a little bit more which is about like that and then massage it a bit longer on my face I love it so much that even though I have this thing that I've been using for close to a year I didn't get bored and, and I just immediately opened the second one like I had no stopping period I, I thought about it for a minute and then I thought yeah of course I'm gonna open the second box so highly highly recommended it goes a long 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 way it's quite impressive actually how long this would last you then the Nivea men black and white invisible antiperspirant so uh, after a lot of um, uh, damage to my shirts I have switched back to spray deodorants and I have finished this one it's a men's deodorant not because I wanted to get a men's deodorant but because I remember I was at the at boots and a person came in and she did not have a mask on and she was right where the deodorants were and I was just very uncomfortable because she was like really in my face so I still wanted the deodorant so I just grabbed whatever I had in front of me and wanted to get out of that place um, so that's why I ended up with the men's deodorant and then this is a, uh, from the Boots brand it is a denture, denture cleansing tablet so I have, I am now I think on my third retainer, uh, mouth guard, and this last one that I got, my dentist gave me a very very strong one, like the one you give to rugby players. I still managed to crack it within two weeks. Um, 
So now I'm trying to work on my stress levels so I don't have to grind my teeth as much because you really don't control it. The only way to control it is by controlling your stress levels. Easier said than done. But these tablets are meant to clean uh, your retainer. I'm going to buy a specific one for retainers called Retainer Bright. But because the first time that I had my very first retainer, I did not necessarily have uh, managed to find it online. I just ended up buying something for dentures. I figured it would be the same. Then I have the Ordinary Retinol 0.5% in Squalane. This used to be my night retinol, and then one day it started hurting, not hurting, it just felt not right every time I would put it on my skin. And one day I randomly realized that you're supposed to keep it uh, in the fridge after you open it. Um, so luckily I was nearly done, like I was at the end of the bottle, so I don't know even how my skin survived this without it being refrigerated. But when I opened the 1%, I immediately put it in the refrigerator. And I must say that because it is in the fridge, I more often than not, I would not use it just because I get a bit lazy. There is a certain impracticality about how this whole thing works. So um, I'm a bit struggling with that. So I think once I finish with that retinol, I will not, I will not repurchase it just because it's in inconvenient for my lifestyle. Then I have these little blotting papers from Muji, which I use three to four every day, usually around this time, like my, my lunch break. Um, so yeah. I have another one that I that once I finish this I have I, I opened another one and I have a backup. Um, one thing I started doing recently is actually using my little humidifier a lot more and I have this one from Muji um, and um, again because I don't want to have a lot of things uh, that are the same or serve the same purpose I just decided that I would focus on one or two essential oils and then move on to the next one. So the one I finished is um, Start to Work. It's also from Muji and it's just a blend. They make these different blends um, with uh, whatever properties you would, you would expect from them. This one is supposed to help you focus and it smells really nice and citrusy and almost like a, a winter thing. So I really like it. I used it up um, and now I'm currently using Sweet Orange. So um, I like these little, little <coughs> bottles. And I have finished a couple pens, a blue and a black one. And so in my office, I have um, this little pot. And I remember when I moved, I had this pot and I also had like boxes of pens. And every time I would buy pens and I would feel bad about it. So what I started doing is I just started putting most of my pens in that pot. And so because I now use them, I finish them, I would go to one of my boxes that I have and then I will just pull more and more pens. And recently I noticed that I don't have as many as I thought I did, which is good because that means I'm running through them. Then I have a Caudalie uh, uh, Resveratrol Lift. This is a face lifting moisturizer. Uh, I think this was expired because I did not enjoy it and I felt like it was separating the liquid and, and the fluid and I just didn't enjoy it so I'm not going to comment on it. And this was the last one from my Medicaid uh, range. This is the White Balance uh, Brightening Serum. I used it for all the different uh, black spots that I had because uh, whenever I would get a zit I would actually get a very dark hyperpigmentation mark. I decided I don't want to deal with that anymore. I don't care. So this is the last time I buy it, but it did work. It did work. You've seen it in my last video and I did say that this would be the last bottle that I buy. So it is the last one. And then I have this serum, which is the uh, from Avant. It's a brand called Avant. It's RNA Radical Firmness Anti-Aging Serum. I don't need anti-aging. And actually when I opened it, I realized that this thing was not closed because like for my other samples, sometimes you have a little bit of foil, you know? Um, so I was not comfortable using it because I know I've had it for a long time, like two years, and samples are not as stable. So I decided to not use it. And the last thing I have in this first part of empties is actually the MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. I have this as a sample. Uh, that's what I use every day actually, and I had a second sample of it. So immediately after finishing this, I just switched to the other one. 
and um, I don't I'm not really picky about mascaras so that's not really a problem um, yeah I used it and it lasted me for quite a long time like this thing didn't dry out so that was quite impressive in its own right and that's what I have in my box so far so I'm going to make myself some coffee um, and then I'm, I'm so looking forward to playing with my products but uh, I'll do that tonight Hey guys, change of plan. Remember when I did my February capsule style month in review kind of thing? I said that my makeup look would be for both February and March, mostly because I was going to start a project mid-March and I didn't want to change my makeup and all that halfway through. Now it turned out um, we couldn't wait, so I just ended up doing another project, which is also another project that I had won, uh, and this one was uh, also going to start the 15th but the client decided to do it two weeks before and the terms are better and i have uh, i get to choose my team so it's not going to be a last minute thing which means i'm starting it on monday and because of that that means i start monday march 1st and i get to choose my makeup and all that for the project it's going to be five weeks uh so i'm quite excited about that I thought I'd show you uh, uh, one more thing I had bought, which is <coughs> these magnesium salts. I will have to put you somewhere. Hold on. I got these magnesium flakes uh, bath salts from Healthspan. Comes with a little scoop because I have been working a lot and um, for some reason I just have trouble sleeping. Like yesterday I did not sleep at all. I'm wearing tons of eye corrector and all that, but you could definitely see here, even with all the layers of concealer and etc that i just didn't get much sleep so i just want to get better at my nighttime routine because clearly it's not working for me um i have a mess there because i did my laundry and i have a pile of laundry that i will iron um at the end of the day and uh, I just finished writing my routine for March so what happened is that because I'm having I have a new project starting Monday I also get to start a new notebook this is just one of those bullet planners that I got from Flying Tiger one day when they had a sale yes it's pale pink not my favorite but fine it was inexpensive and I like starting a new notebook for a project but I decided to put everything in one um, because sometimes I just have these floating papers so I just really spent some time thinking about my um, my skincare routine and also my health slash workout routine and I put that in here so I'll walk you through that but first let us assess the February makeup that's what I'm wearing right now this side has completely disappeared because right now I'm working um, with the window to this side so this sweats and everything but um, it was it was a uh, um, this blush from NARS and I really liked it but I'm not going to keep it for the month of March just because I bought that Fenty Beauty one that I really want to try so this exhibit a blush is going to be retired everything else on my face will stay the same uh, I think I will keep my perfume no, I will not keep my perfume. Let me get another one. Hey, I just had lunch and so far the whole ordering a random box of uh, fruits, veggies and fish works for me. I made a butternut squash soup, which is something I would never do. Like, I would never go and buy a butternut squash. It took me forever to peel because I don't know how to peel that. It was pretty tough or maybe just my... I don't have the right tools. But yeah, I made a spicy but not squash, so it was quite savory. Also, um, this is my bread basket or my bread bag. And I happen to have some very, very old sourdough bread. So I kind of made my own croutons that I ate with my soup. And I'm going to store these to use for later. And I found that now I'm eating more fruits. Uh, so my fruit bowl is empty. Uh, and whenever I want to have snacks instead of immediately going for cookies, which I have cookies I still eat my cookies. I still eat my little um, Chocolate pebbles that I love to have with my coffee, etc um, And my dates and I must do date, etc. It's more that uh, I didn't want to only have that whenever I wanted something sweet which happens a lot because when I work a lot, I just crave sugar. It's just how my, my, my brain bursts energy. Every time I burn glucose, I need sugar. So 
if I'm not working, I'm more of a savory uh, a snack type of person. But if it's if I'm hungry because I've been working a lot, nothing will do it. I just need a hit of sugar. So I'm happy with that because I've been eating more fruits. I've also been having a healthy nourishing breakfast instead of just running all over the place. Um, I'm still organizing my place because, uh, as I said, I've been extremely busy, so I've been doing it little by little. So it's getting there. But I like how my flat has now this nice flow. You see? So there is nothing um, obstructing things in here. This typically goes over there, etc. I just did my uh, toenails, so yeah, and this is where I just had lunch. Morning the funniest thing ever happened so i got up i showered i got dressed you know wore my shirt and everything and i was just already you know looking at my emails and i was thinking hmm, it's very weird it's almost 8 30 and i still don't have any email then shortly after my sister texts me something she's like okay so do you stop by or do i come and I realize it's Sunday, because uh, typically Sunday is our is our day, right? So either she comes or I go to her place. We're we're um, she's my bubble. And that's when I realize it's not Monday; it's actually Sunday. So I put away my pristine white shirt and I wore this. I got it as a gift. So it's from China, actually. So I don't really know where to buy it. It has a Frida Kahlo on it. And I had a long, big, massive breakfast. And uh, I'm actually sleepy because I, 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 I woke up quite early. For some reason, I thought it was Monday. So what I think I will do is I'll probably nap for 30 minutes because, I mean, it's a weekend. I don't know. I have, I have a, I feel like I have a lash on my eye and it's, it kind of irritates my eyes. I need to take off my... Um, nail polish because it started chipping just on these two like my okay no i take it back also on here but like the rest of my of my hands why is this finger weird anyway uh yeah i'll take off my nail polish so i can reapply it either today or tomorrow um then i would have to continue organizing my room because i did not organize all that and i would have to um probably organize my my makeup section but anyway last time that i talked to you guys i was walking you through my um makeup for for march since tomorrow is march 1st i might as well organize my section and once i apply the makeup i'll show you so for nail polish i will continue wearing this because i think this is hands down the best nail polish i've had in my life I've never had that many compliments on, on a nail polish. I got it from people who um, saw it, you know, through the camera, but also my sister, who's the only person I see live, also complimented it. So I can confidently say, if I were to only wear one nail polish for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Uh, I've been removing it and re-wearing it, removing it, re-wearing it, absolutely love it. It's only, it's only down to here, so, um, the old me would probably have gone and already bought like three of these just as a backup uh, but i decided no i'm going to stick to it and when i finish it i'm going to wear other nail polishes but i will still buy a, um, this when 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 it's done i will repurchase it uh, i just won't stock up on it um i have a couple things that i do feel i will probably be finishing in march uh, so I will continue using. I have this NYX matte finish um, spray. I think that I really need to uh, use it because it's starting to get warm and I don't necessarily powder my face or wear a lot of makeup. I'm wearing less and less and less makeup. So definitely something that I'm going to use while I have it, but I will not repurchase it just because um, I can always powder my face or try to use some blotting sheets same thing for this primer i have this fenty beauty primer it's the mattifying pro filter one uh, it's down to here i do have a couple very important events uh, in march um, i will be doing uh, giving a master class uh, at work 
and um, it's something that's going to be for very important stakeholders. One of the master classes is actually with the media, with some government stakeholders, with some industry peers. So it is a very, very high profile thing and I will be wearing perfect makeup. Uh, the topic is very complex and um, I will not have much time to prepare because I will be on a full time on a project and so I want nothing to distract me. You guys know this if you've been following my channel for a while. I like my appearance to be spotless so that people focus only on what I have to say. And so on that day, like every other day, I will be wearing this except that day I will be wearing it all over my face. That would also be... Um, when i wear foundation i haven't worn foundation in months but on on the on the two master classes i give i will be wearing foundation i will be wearing bronzer so that i don't look pale the whole thing you know um for perfume i have this uh, jo malone verbena of provence that's what it looks like um, it's down to here so I just decided to switch it from my previous perfume I used uh, so for February I was wearing one star iffy uh, I'm going to wear this one it's quite fresh because it's verbena uh, and I thought I'd pull it out because we start to have some sunny days but I also pulled this from my travel uh, bag because I'm as I said I'm trying to finish anything that was in my travel bag this is also Jo Malone but it's from the, the Cologne Intense collection this is velvet rose and oud so if they have if there are any days where it's actually cold i would rather wear this so i will be alternating the two throughout the month of march just because um i want to to have an option that feels right for the weather now on makeup when i filmed the feb video i said that i was going to wear this color called sidecar I tried it once when I filmed the makeup and I really hated it. It had a lot of fallout. It felt ashy, too metallic. I didn't like it. So instead, during the whole month, I was actually wearing Smog. That's the color that is right next to the to Half Baked. Um, it's a light bronze color. It's similar to the one that I had on my MAC quad, the bronze color. And uh, uh, I wore it as an all over the lid color. It, it was very inoffensive. I quite enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear it for the month of March just because I'm a bit bored with having that demure color. For lipstick, I will continue wearing the Givenchy one. Similar to this, it was a revelation. Uh, now, onto the colors in makeup. I'm going to start new bits. So, uh, the foundation, uh, the base of my face will still be the same. As I said, I'm not wearing any foundation, but I do wear uh, this uh, a little bit, teeny tiny bit of concealer under my eyes. And my brow Bobbi Brown corrector, still the same one in deep peach. So that will not change. What will change is that instead of that bronze color on my eyes, I will be wearing this Begin Makeup orange color. It's been ages I, I didn't wear an orange color, so I think it will be quite uh, interesting, bright, and just different. Um, so I will be wearing that throughout the month of March. I had bought this at the Morocco Mall in Morocco. And then my latest beauty addition, and, pro and the only beauty, probably the only makeup I bought in, yeah, the only makeup I bought in 2020, is this Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. So it's this color. I still did not wear it. Um, and it's going to replace the NARS Exhibit A. So last month I was wearing this. It was quite vibrant. Um, and my skin can take it. I have a rich color tone. So it can take these strong colors. Um, so I cannot wait to wear this. I think that it's uh, fresh enough, like a watermelon, to uh, uh, not feel like... Um, it's too wintry but at the same time if it's too if it's too cold the cream texture makes it uh, softer on the skin so it wouldn't dry my skin out but I'm very very excited to finally try it um, 
I did not use my lip liner, so I thought when when I when I started the, when I had selected my red lipstick that I would be wearing it with lip liner. I realized I don't, so this is going to be retired for now. And that is it for beauty, I guess. Oh, I was wearing the Fenty Beauty eyeliner. Um, I found myself wearing it quite a lot, but it is it is. Uh, a bit difficult I find it draggy like when I just got it for at the beginning it was very slick and you could just uh, slide it over your eye and it would just work like magic now I just feel like it's draggy I do think it still has quite a lot of liquid but this is a product that doesn't age well I just feel like it's not it doesn't age well so I'm not sure whether I'm going to be using a liner but anyway I continue tight lining with this MAC feline and my mascara will continue to be this one by MAC. So that is the beauty for March. So I know I was supposed to try this tomorrow, but I just couldn't wait. So I'm going to just try it today. Uh, I'm going to have tea with my sister, who's probably texting me now. So it does feel a bit waxy quite dry to the touch and rather oily also oh it has a mirror oh you know on camera it doesn't look like much but then I need to tone it down I like it Hmm. I should have used a clean brush because I feel like I just solid it. Hmm. It's actually a lot less uh, pigmented than I thought on camera, at least. But I like it in in real life. It just looks fresh. From Cezanne. These are linen, and they are adjustable here. So kind of that's why I got them. Um, sorry about the drilling noise. I've been dealing with that for days. It's just driving me crazy. But I just love how flat this area is. Um, yeah. I have the same one in another fabric, so I'll try it on. This one is a very casual fabric. It's much thicker. It's also organic cotton, but it just feels more woven. And um, I really like it. Uh, I, I think it's quite... Uh, it's quite flattering. I just had lunch and I, I don't feel like um, it's a problem. I still feel like it makes my uh, stomach feel quite comfortable. Let me put you here. Yeah? So I'm keeping both of them. I think this would go really well with um, my series of shirts right now. I have a few that I just washed, so I still need to iron them. But um, you know how um, in January I showed you my um, silhouette uh, with the black pants? I just feel like as we get into spring, uh, I would want something lighter. So uh, these are the pants that I want to have for spring. Uh, really, really, really like them. I always hesitated to buy Cezanne pants because I felt they might be too too long for me but these ones are supposed to not be very long like they wear them at the ankle so it means they're full length for me and I would probably also just uh, you know uh, cuff the, the, the end of the pants. I really really like it. So yeah my little birthday purchases uh, hoping that this is the last birthday that I have to spend in a lockdown.